Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. All right, I want to get into this lesson. Um, you know, this is a continuing lesson that I did. It was called Psalm 68 and 20. I might title something else. But uh, you had this guy, uh, Tiny Zeus Lister, otherwise known as Debo from the uh, hit movie Friday about two decades ago. You know, uh, Most High called his number and sent him back into the spirit world. But our people have misconceptions about who the angels are, as you can see in this illustration. You know, it was kind of funny, but then again, it, it kind of isn't. Because this is what you so-called Negroes think that heaven is. All right? Like, this guy Debo, you know, he's up there with Nipsey Hussle. And Sammy Davis Jr. is playing the piano. And next to him is Tupac. And then, you know, Left Eye and Aaliyah come in with, uh, uh, what, what was Grandmaster Jay's... Not a grandmaster, yeah, Jam Master J from uh, Run DMC, who got shot, you know, about a decade and a half ago. He's up there in heaven with y'all, and y'all in the ghetto heaven. No, okay? The scriptures can t talk about where you go when you die in certain conditions, man, okay? You don't go up to heaven and there's some white guy up there looking like this, okay? And, and I'm going to just get into a description of what the angels look like, man, all right? Because our people think it's little white babies or in this, this cartoon, some Edomite, all right, some guy that has leprosy, he's up there in heaven, all right? Everything everything in the heavens is pure, man. There won't be a, a leprous uh, heathen up there with a halo on his head. Like I said, it's funny, but it, then again, it's not funny because these fables are glued in our people's heads. And this guy, Debo, he was a known worshiper of jesus christ and it, it, you know we keep telling you the name of the lord his only begotten son isn't jesus christ man okay so uh let's get into ezekiel um one and um four and i looked and behold a whirlwind came out of the north that whirlwind is referring to a chariot all right so-called ufos there's been a lot of so-called UFO sightings in these last days. They can't deny it anymore. All right. A great cloud and a fire enfolding itself and a brightness was about it. And out of the mist thereof, as the color of amber, out of the mist of the fire, also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And there was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. So they had the likeness of a man. So that, that cancels out little little babies being angels. You know how Jake be getting these uh Cuban link chains and it has a little baby angel on it? You got to cross that out, man. Angels don't look like that. All right. It says, verse 6, And everyone had four faces and everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. All right, they sparkled. They shine like the color of polished brass. What's the color of brass? Brown. So the angels are dark-skinned men. They're not. The the heavenly Father talks about leprosy in Leviticus 13. And the so-called white man, according to the scriptures, he is a clean leper. So why would the heavenly Father have a clean leper in heaven? All right, this is a fable. Uh, and a falsehood, okay? And I'm going to mention this guy, uh, Tiny Zeus Lister, also known as Debo. He was a, uh, one of his last messages. You know, he looked like he was about to drop dead. All right, in his last message. All right, and he said he was going to be there in 2021. Hey, but the Heavenly Father called him up last week to the spirit world, man. All right? So I got this scripture for him. This is uh, Exodus 23 and 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, um, Jehovah, Buddha, Yah, Yahweh, hey, those are other gods, man. When you go into the word Lord in the Bible and you go to the blue letter, all right, that word in the Hebrew 
the Lord is H3068, and it translates into Yahweh. Okay, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And when you go into the word of the only begotten Son, like if you go to a scripture in Matthew 1 and 21, all right, when you look at the word Jesus, when it goes to the bottom, you had to go to the bottom definitions. And it says from the from the Hebrew word, and it gives um, the name of Yahweh Shai in the uh, Assyrian Hebrew. All right, so his name is Yahweh Shai, and the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. All right. All right, so this is um, Exodus 20 and uh, 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right. Like I said, this guy, Tiny Zeus Lister, otherwise known as Devo, was heavy into uh, Jesus Christ, man. And that's our people, man. Heavy into false gods. All right. So I have another scripture. This is uh, Psalms 2 Chronicles. All right. 2 Chronicles chapter uh, 15, uh, verses 12. It says, And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord the God of their fathers, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is Yahweh, all right? And they enter into a, it's, it's sure as hell ain't no jam, these, damn Jesus Christ, excuse me. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord, the God of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, the God of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. All right, and that's what happened with Tiny Zeus Lister and all these other celebrities and all these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who worship other gods and then seek to um, uh, seek the Heavenly Father in this lifetime because you come back in many lifetimes through the process of reincarnation. And the Lord is giving you another chance to hear His word before the ultimate destruction comes and the transition period has been made between the so-called white man's world, Esau, in Jacob's world, the world for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to come in the future, all right? Because you're always talking about a heaven. All right, you Jakes are talking about heaven. Well, heaven is going to be on earth, the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be more, more, no more sickness, no more death. The so-called white man is not going to have his foot in our neck. All right, the Heavenly Father is going to refresh us in the kingdom of heaven, all right? So heaven is here on earth. It's coming here on earth. Well, it's heaven for the white man right now, but it's hell for us. All right, I'm going to get into that later. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to get into that right now. And I'm going to go into this hell, all right, because our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, think there's some type of hell. And even these Israelite camps teach this hell doctrine, which makes no sense at all. All right. You got to search the scriptures, man. All right, and these, these guys are chopping and screwing these scriptures, these other Israelite camps, man. So this is Psalm 16 and 10. I'm going to start at 9. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Verse 10. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. And I think this is a psalm of David, all right? It is going to further prophecy uh, with Yahweh Shai, all right, no doubt. But um, that word hell, all right, Jake, Jacob see, oh, man, it's hell, hell, man, you know, hell. Now, that word is, uh, when you go to the Hebrew, that's the importance of looking at words. It's H7585, all right. When you look at that word, it means grave, all right. So hell means the grave. You go back to the grave. From dust you are to dust you return. All right, so there's no such thing as hell. And I'm going to get into Ecclesiastes just to further the point. Because our people had this image of heaven. Like I said, they think that Tupac is up there and Missy Hustle and um, King Von and Mo3 and all these other guys. No, man. <laughs> the Heavenly Father is doing work up there, man. Ain't nobody chilling up there smoking a black and mild on the piano with a fifth of hand. You know, because Jacob had that in their house. They had this idolatrous image of, uh, you know, Tupac and, and Biggie up in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Next to Sammy Davis, Ju Sammy Davis Jr. All right, next to Nissy Hustle, 
Left Eye and Tupac coming in the room. I mean, Left Eye and Aaliyah coming in the room. Nah, man, it don't work like that. So let's get into these scriptures. Um, this is Ecclesiastes. Just bear with me for a sec. Alright. Because this is the truth of the Bible. Alright. There's no fables when it comes to these scriptures. So this is, uh, I'm going to start off in Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 9. Verse 2 it says, All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked. To the good and to the clean and to the unclean, to him that sacrificeth and to him that sacrificeth not, as is the good. So is the sinner and he that, sh and he that swerve as he that feareth an oath. Verse 3. There is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness. Is in their heart while they live, and after that they go to the dead. So there's one event: you go to the spirit world. You don't go to some heaven where it's a ghetto heaven. You know, there's little white babies flying around, and you don't go to hell with some devil hitting with a pitchfork. Scriptures talk about dust, dust you are, dust you return. This body that you in goes back to the dust, okay, and your spirit goes back up to the heavenly Father. All right, so this picture is just totally false, man. Alright, Debo's not going to be up there in the spirit world with his khaki suit on, you know, I'm riding a bike, man. Alright, and like I said, it's funny, but it is not because this is the picture that's painted through through Christianity, you know, Catholicism. It, it is totally mushed your brain to thinking that this is what happens when you die. Alright, so let's go to um, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 20. It says, all go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. From dust you are, dust you return. All right. Verse 21, who knoweth the spirit of a man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth. So the beast goes down. Like you, you might have had a favorite dog that passed, his spirit goes downward. All right. Not into Doggy Hill, okay. <laughs> Jake. Jay could be like, well, dogs go, I guess downward dogs go to hell. No, man, the spirit of a man goes back to the Heavenly Father, all right, whether it be good or evil, man. All right, the Lord controls all these spirits, all right. Let's go to, um, I believe this is the last scripture. I'm just going to end it off on this. Uh, let me see, Psalms 104 and uh, 29. Psalms 104 and 29. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath. They die and return to their dust. And that's the fun that's what the Lord does. He controls the issues of life and death, man. Alright. The, the most high takes away the breath of men. Alright, when he wants to, because the Heavenly Father can do whatever he wants to do. Hey, so Lord willing that lesson was edifying. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the Apostle and the Elders, Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim. I mean, to you, brothers that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Um, I just got one more scripture, all right, because this is a message of repentance. Hey, because these celebrities that's getting uh, put to death or they just die of natural causes, uh, what's coming to the earth? It's going to be far worse, man. All right. People are going to die of grievous deaths down here in these latter days as that transition period comes from the end of Esau's world to the beginning of Jacob. So this is uh, Acts 3 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. You know, come back to the God of the Bible, Yahweh, while Yahweh shot. All right. All right. Not Jesus Christ, not Jehovah, not all these other gods that you've been living for. And nothing has been happening. You just begin more hell. Alright. The Heavenly Father put us in this condition. Alright. And it's and he's changed the darkness of these bodies because we have sinned against the Heavenly Father. We will bear the indignation of the Heavenly Father because we have sinned against him. Alright. We have all of us so called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans have sinned against the Heavenly Father. So it's a time to repent. 
All right, time to stop being uh, homosexuals. Time to stop being thugs, dope dealers, adulterous women. All right, it's time for you to get out the Christian church, the, the Roman Catholic church. It's time to repent. All right, because well, when the sun comes back, Yahweh shot, and you, and you can read his description. He was another man that had uh, uh, brass like skin that burned in the furnace. Read Revelation 1, verses 13 through 15. All right. The Heavenly Father is not playing when he sends back his son. So it says, Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. All right. So it's a time to repent and get this word while it's still on YouTube. So with that, shalom.